So we got another 40 books back from CBCS. Do we hit any 9 9s in this submission? Hopefully, no more damage cases. But let's see how it turns out, shall we? What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Skeptical Knowledge. I am Skep, and thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. So, without further ado, we're going to have, I think, a little over 40 books to unbox from CBCS. Actually, a little bit less. We have 40 books to show off. 20 I still need to unbox. About 19 of them I already have unboxed. So I was curious on what we got. So, I'm going to show off 19 of the books I've already unboxed, but I haven't shown you guys yet. And I got another big, giant box behind me to show off and see how we did. So, the box that we're going to start out with here. So all of these books were all shipped two-day modern through the CBCS $36 grading fee. And there was one book in there that was sent the quick stream because it was pre-1975. So, first book up by Terry Moore is called Serial. It's a weird independent series. Uh, came out a couple months back, and this is the first print. Second print looks identical to this copy. Only thing different on the second print is that there's a UPC code on the back that says two instead of one. It's the only way to tell the difference. Uh, but on this first printing, we were able to get a wonderful 9 8 copy, so I'm very excited about that one. And next book up, no submission, is complete without a. Something Gill Children books. This is the number one eighth print, the free one and two kind of ratio for buying like a copy of Berserker number one and number two. But this one I was happy to say we got a beautiful 9-8. So I'm only missing the seventh printing of it, which is a local comic shop day foil one that I'm missing the entire 9-8 of number one additional printing. So I'm very excited to get that one back from PGC in about eight to ten months, whenever that happens. Uh, next up is a series I am very excited about and I thoroughly enjoy reading. It's called Radiant Black. Um, this is the Cho cover, the one that's a little more pricier than the regular cover A. Obviously, it's a much cooler cover. So this one, I was happy to say we got a, we got a 9-8 on this one too. So I was really excited. So far, this first batch of books was, was pretty good. No complaints. Uh, no crack cases out of this first batch that I've already unboxed. We don't know about the ones we're about to unbox here in a bit. Uh, next time, we have a copy of the Spawn, the cover swipe. Uh, this was actually picking up in price a little bit. Very surprising. Just this cover out of all the 300s. Uh, probably due to the fact that it is that homage, homage swipe to ASM 300. So this one, I was happy to say we got a beautiful 9-8 on this copy as well. So very excited about that. Uh, next up is a really fun series by Mad Cave Studios. This is Nottingham number one, but the second printing. On this one, I was happy to say we got a... Another great already. <laughs> we got a 9-8. 98 on the Nottingham number one second printing. These, yeah, these were all submitted for that thirty-six dollar two-day modern, which takes about a week. I want to say maybe about eight to ten business days from date of shipping it out. So, for example, if I if I was to ship it out on probably a Monday, I'd probably get all the books back by the following Friday which isn't bad at all. So I need to start shipping that on a Monday instead of like a Wednesday or a Thursday because you want to just want to go through one weekend instead of both weekends. Gets come back a little bit faster that way. Next up is a book that is probably going to stay in the PC for a little bit. This is the, this is the Black Knight number five, but the Hans Connecting Cover Series. This was so much fun and really cool. So I was happy to score this one and I'm happy to say got a 9-8 on this one. So I, I have issues number five and number one in this submission. I think I have number three in the next submission. I'm just missing issues number two and number four to get that really cool connecting cover set. Speaking of number one, here is the number one Hans cover as well. This one's a really cool cover. Uh, this one I was happy to say we also got a 9-8 on this one. Uh, I'm still happy with the CBCS turnaround times for this two-day modern. Next up is a really cool kind of like wraparound-ish cover. I'll show you the back of it. It's TMNT number 95, but the second printing. Uh, this one, I was happy to say we also got a beautiful 9-8 copy on this one as well. But the service has been good. I think the only thing I really kind of, I mean, there's a couple things, right? I, I want to probably do a whole breakdown video of like pros and cons versus each company because I know a lot of people are adamant about which one they use and they find negativity in each and things and it's good to point out the flaws in each one or and or the differences or what you like better versus what this one does better i like the way cgc ships their books back better than cbcs at this point uh i've gotten different batches of books back i've gotten i think five total packages back from cbcs and just not i mean like i said we only had the one damage so far but just not the biggest fan of how it's packed versus how I get a books 
when I get multiple books back from CGC, like when they use those stand-up boxes with a corrugate, like it just makes me feel better about getting those books back. But this one is a nice house of like number one second printing. Uh, I just submitted because I wanted a second printing graded. Uh, we got a 9-8 on this one as well. It was a brand new copy, so I wasn't surprised. But I really like Nice House and Lake. If you haven't checked it out, please go check it out. I know the third printing's out there, number one, number two's out there still, and number three just came out, and it's still been a really fun, mysterious series. I look forward to seeing where James takes it. So next up is a really fun Scotty Young cover of all new Wolverine. Uh, this one, I can't remember where I picked this one up from. I think I just I found it in a short box. I thought it was really super cool. So this one also came back a beautiful 9-8 copy. I can't remember if I got any 9-9s on this batch. I'm not sure. You know we've seen a couple 9-9s on this channel from CBCS, which was insane. So we'll find out if we get any more, right? Uh, next up is easily one of my favorite uh, Something Kill Children issue number 16 variants of the 7500 they did. This is the ECGCE trade dress version. So this one, we also got a beautiful 9A copy on this one. This is just a great book. I really like this variant a lot. It's a cool cover. Very cool cover. Next up is going to be four books, all the same book. These are all comic mint exclusives. So these are all not like off of a rack or anything like that, but these are like exclusives through comic mint. And they're the We Live number one fourth prints, but you see on the channel already that I have the trade dress that I unboxed, I want to say a couple videos ago, but now we have the virgin books. So these are the, the Chrissy virgin copies. So this one, I was very happy to say we also got a, we got a nine nine. Whoo, man, we got a nine nine. Like this was crazy. Like unboxing this and getting the nine nine, I about died. Uh, I was like, what's happening? So far everything that I have gotten that back that is a 9-9 has all been like store exclusives. Like not nothing that was shipped to like a local comic shop, but sh I do believe like a certain amount of print run, like, because we've gotten the We Live gotten back, the Something Killer Children got back a 9-9. So it's just all been like store exclusive covers. So that's something that's interesting, right? So like, it's crazy to think the quantity of 9-9s I've now gotten back, right? It's super weird. It's super weird. But yeah, I can't believe we got a We Live <laughs> Uh, number one fourth print and a 9-9. So that was that's so cool. Uh, and like I said, we have three more copies of this book, uh, which they were all like in perfect shape. So of course we got, we got another 9-9. <laughs> no, you did not just see the same book twice. It's not camera magic. Look at this. There are two 9-9s on your screen. I'm not kidding. We got two 9-9s, like two of them. I looked at this, I'm like, is this, are you serious right now? I was like, this is nuts. So yeah, so we got two We Live Number One fourth prints. Both are nine nines. Uh, yeah, so I'm not complaining about that at all. It's just super weird. It's not super weird. I mean, it's still a little weird. Uh, have you guys gotten any nine nines from CBCS? I'm still waiting for my CGC 9.9. I wonder if I crack this open and send it to CGC and it come back a nine nine. Like, I wish they would still do like that crossover grading thing, but they actually have to open up the book and look at it. So, but it's still interesting, right? A We Live number one fourth print. I got another 99. I think the print run on that book is like 600 copies. Something super crazy. So next up, we have, like I said, just another copy of the We Live uh, number one fourth print. And so, like, this was, like I said, really good shape. And so we got just, uh, we got another pretty good grade on this one. This one, we got, we got another 99. We have three of these in a 99. Like, what is happening? Like, I am still, like, holding this. It doesn't seem real. Like, I know this is probably crazy to you right now. You're probably freaking out. If you're not freaking out, I don't know why. There's three nine nines of this. Like, I was blown away. Like, I can't believe I sent it four copies and got three nine nines. Like, that's nuts. So, we live number one fourth print. Virgin. Limited 600 copies. Another nine nine. So, unless Comic Mint just had the most immaculate print run ever, and they looked at every single book and discarded everything had a flaw, I mean, kudos to them. Like, talk about, like bringing great perfect looking books to a show uh so like i said last book is just a yet another copy of we live is it possible that we went four for four nine nine not realistically but we did it anyway <laughs> yeah um so cbcs cool thank you uh still shocked there are four nine nines Yeah, uh-huh. This is cool. I, I'm just, I'm blown away. I have no words. When I got these in and I unboxed them, I'm just like, what is happening? Uh, yeah. 
So we got four nine nine. Four nine nine. And then we got a couple we got three more books left. So this one, and then we'll do the mystery box in the other one, and then the one quick stream I already know the grade of. So this is a book that I looked at and I thought this one was also perfect. An easy nine at Canada that I originally was gonna send to CGC and I'm just like, it's perfect. I'm just gonna send it to CBCS and just not wait. So this is one that I thought was perfect. I looked at it a couple times. This is yet another like store exclusive. So this was a red foil Walking Dead number one. So this one was perfect. So I was like, I was like, all right, come on, let's get a nine eight. And we totally got. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We got another nine nine. Like I about lost my mind. Like I looked on the census of this one. There are actually two other nine nines. So I'm like, all right. So this was like I said, another store exclusive book that they had the chance to like probably dissect and look at every corner which is a great back. So, really cool book here. And i just happy to say that this, yeah, can't believe we got 99 on this Walking Dead number one. So, yeah, that blew me away. Uh, next up is the Something Kill Children uh, number 13. First print, just a great air cover, and we're gonna continue the pattern of not getting a 99. <laughs> this just got a 96. There was like a little bump on the corner that I missed on the backhand side. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera or not. But yeah, got a 9.6 on this one, so I'm just like, ah, I got 599s. Not complaining. Last book up is a copy of Bassless number one second print that I thought was in perfect shape, but you know, can't always win them, right? Uh, it was a little, it's, they said there was like a little ding on the back corner of this one too, and I'm like, I have yet to find it. I have to go back and double check, but I think they said like a little bit of rubbing on a corner. I just can't see it. So yeah, got a 9.6 on those two books. Uh, not complaining, can't believe the House of Slaughter preview and somebody going to show number 13. The last book is a really stunning uh, Hulk 102 uh, that I, I was going to try to see if I can maybe I'm interested in, but I'd rather have gotten it graded so we know what the grade is. So there's no like dispute about what grade it got. Whew. So this is a really cool classic Hulk 102, 1968. So I had to send the quick stream service, which I think was like 50 bucks, give or take. Uh, so this one, we got a... 7 -0. so not complaining that's not bad at all i'm gonna put it around like that 450 range give or take like between 4 and 450 so not complaining uh probably be for sale anyone's interested <laughs> um but that's it for the boxes of books that we have seen now let's get to the mystery of what we haven't seen yet so here's a box from cbcs i'm a little nervous i just i'm not a fan i'm not a fan of the cbcs return shipping boxes and or how they pack them back but guys, I'd love to know your thoughts on if you think CBCS return shipping is is up to your par or standards and things like that. I'm just curious. Like, I shouldn't complain, right? Like the book is all ride safe, but I'm just like, I don't know, man. I just I want it to look a little more professional looking. Sue me, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Cause like when I open up the box, it just kind of like it's a lot less to be desired, which I'll show you. Like they're just kind of thrown in. The, I mean, not thrown in there, but like. The bubble wrap is, I don't know, it just, it's probably my OCD. I, don't, I like the uniformity, like, it's just, I don't know, man. I just, I feel that, that I don't know, I feel that there's something missing. I feel that, like, the labels need a little bit of tweaking still, and the return shipping needs, like, it's just like, I don't know, man, just me being weird. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though. Like, let me know if you think CBCS can improve their, their shipping and things like that. So I guess we can find out together. So like I'm not sure if CGC like owns a copyright or something like that for how they return ship books, but if if CBCS if you just want to do the same thing they do for return shipping, that'd be great. I would love that very much. <laughs> Less stress for me. So like I said, they're just in like the wrapped up in that burrito. So there's two of these wrapped up in these burritos. No, I rolled my arm on that one. That was weird. All right, let's cut these open. First book up, oh, Kaiju Score number one. I actually really enjoy this series. It's a fun one. Just can't go wrong with giant monsters ever. I love Pacific Rim. So this one I had to submit. I submitted this one plus the one in 10 ratio that I picked up as well. So this one, did we get a nine? Eight. Hey. <laughs> All right, there we go. Off to a good start. The one nine eight down. Uh, this is the one I submitted because I absolutely love the cover. This is Invincible number one, the local comic shop day, and it just, it's a stunning cover. Like, it shows off all the old covers and everything like that. It's a beautiful, beautiful book that I just wanted to get graded. Um, so I'm hoping for a 9.8, hoping for a 9.8. This one, do we get the 9.8? Oh, oh, man. A 9.6. 
Eh, it's for the PC. It doesn't matter. But I was hoping for a 9.8. Here's the phone that I picked up at a show. I think there's a Hulk. There's a Hulk 418, I think. Yeah, yeah, the first appearance of Talos that was in Captain Marvel. Um, I found it at a show, and it was, like, in perfect shape. And I think I paid, like, $2 for it or $3. It was something crazy. I'm like, I know what this is. And I grabbed it. I'm like, this looks perfect. This, Like, all these books, by the way, everything I've shown so far, except for the Hulk. Hulk doing the one that's, that's not. Uh, none of these books were pressed. Not a single one. So, only the Hulk one was pressed, and that was it. So, all the other ones, all these two-day moderns, I didn't press this. I paid $3 for it. I'm not going to press it. Um, it looked perfect. Uh, was I right? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> there we go. Let's go. Not so bad so far. Two, two nine eights. I mean, like, come on now. One of those should have been a nine nine, right? With what I'm been hit pulling. <laughs> so that Hulk book was purchased at the same time this Hulk book was, because I found this at the same exact time in the same area. This is a Hulk second printing, uh, foil, silvery goodness, and I'm like, I wasn't sure. I just thought the cover was wicked, and I thought it was a high grade, and like nine six, nine eight. I thought it'd be close, so we hopefully got a nine nine, right? Oh, a nine six. <laughs> This one was a hard one to, to kind of like just, like it was a hard one. It's probably that little bottom corner there, a little, the little bottom corner, Nick. Uh, it's a thicker book, so that's probably why. But still, it's a really cool book. It's a really cool book. So, 9-6 on this Hulk. Speaking of Hulk, can you please Hulk smash that like button, uh, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit turn, make sure that notification bell is turned on so you know when I drop the next video, guys. I really appreciate all the time and effort and energy you guys put into watching the videos, commenting down below, liking. Um, I look forward to having those con great conversations down below in the comments. So if you please continue to do so. I thoroughly enjoy it. I greatly appreciate it, guys. You have no idea. All right, next up, we're going to have, oh, this is a House of X number two, the second print. That's, I think, the first Moira McTaggart, if I can remember correctly. I thought this was a super cool book. Um, still kind of a, a pricey book, and it looks like it was in perfect shape. So I'm like, let's just send it in and see what we did. Uh, like, like, it looked really good. So let's see, man. So let's see how we got on this one. So we got a... Yes! All right, we got another 9-8. Awesome. Yep, Origin. There it is. Origin of Moira McTaggart retold. But still, though, very surprised on what the commanding asking price of this in a 9-8 in a goes for right now. So we got, ooh, we got, we got another second printing of this book. Like I said, this one looked just as clean as the first one. So let's see what we got. Another 9-8. Let's go. <laughs> that is awesome. That is exciting. Next book up is... Did I submit three of these? Maybe I did submit three of these. I guess I submitted three of these. That looks like they're in really good shape. So let's see how we did on all three. We got a... What? <laughs> uh, well, that's a thing. <laughs> CBCS, you're messing with me now, right? You're just, you're messing with me. Is this like a scratch off? Nope, that's real. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. All right. Um, we just hit a 9-9 nine -nine of like an, a normal book. Like this is a book that I found in like a short box of a shop like maybe two months ago. And it's been there since 2019. That's insane. What's up? Oh, I love this cover. This is Addy Brock, uh, like the first Venom mech. So this one, I really liked a lot. I thought that was a cool book. And hopefully we got a 9-8 so I can keep it. Yes! All right, we got a 9-8. Let's keep it. <laughs> I just thought it was a really cool cover. I thought it was a really cool cover. Edge of spider Gang number two. Oh, I just really like this Middleton cover. That was it. I just like the Middleton cover. I have no... I submitted, I think, two of these. One to keep and one to sell. So hopefully they both got 9-8s. I mean, I would just keep the lower grade one. <laughs> but hopefully we get two 9-8s. Yes! Alright, 198. It's just a sick cover. I know he's famous for that other Batgirl. I think it's Batter Batgirl either 19 or 23 that is like the super expensive one. But I thought this is just a really good Middleton cover. So, I got two of them graded. Second one was just as clean, so it should get a 10 0, right? This one, we got a. Yeah! Alright! One to keep, one to sell. <laughs> Ooh, I wanted to keep this one. All new Wolverine issue number one. This one looks really clean. I had it for a little bit. This one we got a... Yes! Alright, let's go. So it's, yeah, it's the first appearance of Laura Kinney as Wolverine. So I'm like, I'm just going to hold on to this. And also, she's on the back of it too. So I thought that was super cool. I thought it was just a fun kind of front and back her on both sides. 
This was, I think this was purely accidental. I think that was just the advertisement at the time. But I just thought it was super cool. Like, I'm just going to hold on to this one. Uh, next up, we got a Something to Get Children number 16, the 1 in 25 ratio variant. Um, I just want to submit it. I like the cover. I just want to keep it. So, but I'm hoping for a 9-8. So, we got a 9-8. No! <laughs> Dang it. Um, I'm not sure what happened. I mean, on the back, it's got, like, just a few little, like, little, little things on the back, but nothing I thought was too crazy. But, hey, got 9-6. Gonna keep it. Next book up. Ooh, I like this book. So, this is She-Hulk number one. Um, I really like this book. I picked it up a few years ago, just kind of hold on to it. And now, time to get it graded, I guess, right? Good timing, better than ever, right? <laughs> like I said, man, send it unpressed, but it looked really clean. I kept it in good shape over the past year and so. So, we got a... Yes! All right, we got a 9-8. I was a little nervous about this one, actually. This one, I thought that I saw something on there, but it turned out perfect. Next up, ooh, the Usagi number 20, second print. This one I'm just going to, I got graded just to hold on to, which if I was going to grade you to hold on to, I should have just not cemented the 36 day. Ah, whatever. Moving on. It's a graded graded, so I have it now. <laughs> no patience. So second print, first Yamamoto. Look perfect. We got a... Yes! We got a 9-8. All right, perfect. Yep. Going to hold on to this one. Just kind of see what happens. Next up, we're going to have a copy of, ooh, the Teen Titans special number one. I think it was like the first cameo of Crush. Not our first full appearance, but I think it was the first cameo. So this is the book one I thought would be a good one. Just kind of get graded now and kind of see what happens. Uh, this looks like it's in really good shape. So this one, we got a... Yes! <laughs> we got 90 of this one. That is awesome. Like, so far, I think we've only hit the one, the, the, the two nine sixes. So it's been great so far. When, like, the 9-9 nine nine on a regular book, that was insane. So far, man, everything's been really great. Um, and the two, I think the 9.6, I couldn't have gotten pressed out anyway. It had to do like an edge, so I'm not complaining. Everything looks exactly how I thought it should be, so it's great so far. And by the way, no damages. Nothing was damaged, no cases are broken. All the books, I have five left, are in perfect shape. So regardless of how I think about their shipping, it does the job. Oh, this is a really cool, like, so this is a Spawn 282 that I couldn't find much information about. I just thought it was like a lower print run copy. So I thought just send it off, get it graded. Uh, this one looked really great. Uh, I'm hoping for a 9-8. <laughs> we got that 9-8. Let's go. It's just a, a Cyan Fitzgerald cover in appearance, but I just thought it was like a lower print run one to kind of get graded and hold on to and kind of see what happens. Guys, yeah, I really appreciate you sticking with me through this whole video. I know it's a lot of books, but I appreciate it. I just want to do them all at once. Uh, I know it's been a minute, so I'm just excited to get them all in box for you. So next up, we're going to have, oh, I love this. This is a cover I'm keeping if it's a 9-8. Please be 9-8. I bought this the day it came out because I thought the cover was gorgeous. I got a... Yes! I got a 9-8. I just love this cover. This is for Something Kill Children issue number 18, which I think it came out like three weeks ago. Three or four weeks ago. It just came out. But I love the cover. I thought it was wicked. Like, I thought it was like just... It was really cool, simple. Um, but I saw it, and I'm like, I want to get this graded. But yeah, 9 on that one. That's awesome. Here's another book that I, I probably should not have paid extra for because I'm not, it's not probably going to go anywhere anyway. But this is the Something to Kill Children, uh, Scott's Collectibles, Tiny Onion, uh, exclusive, number 17, I think limited to like 300 copies. This one I thought was perfect. Like, it was another one of those like shop exclusives where like, they send it and like, the thing's perfect. Uh, this one, we got a, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Very excited. I just thought it was just a great cover. Like, in the, in the background, you can see kind of, like, just, like, a monster back there. So I thought, this is just a really cool book. Like I said, I probably shouldn't have paid extra to get it graded because I'm just going to hold on to it anyway. But we shall see, right? We shall see. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Uh, this is Secret Invasion number 1, 2008, which is when it came out. I've had it since 2008. This has traveled everywhere with me. Like, just because the short box always go everywhere I go. So this one I want to submit. I really like the storyline. There could be something happening in the future with MCU, so I'm like, let's just grade it now and see what happens. Prices of a 9.8 are pretty crazy right now, actually. So, But this one was unpressed. I've kept it in short box, double bagged and boarded, and I sent it off. It did my copy that I bought. Come back in 9.8. Yeah! <laughs> this brings me so much more joy that I've had this since 2008. And it came back in 9-8 because I kept it in perfect shape. This is awesome. Also, I'm very excited for the storyline in the MCU if they do it. Super excited. Right, next up is a copy of Nightwing 78 that I actually got from a Walmart pack. Not the Marvel one, because that would be insane, actually. But from the DC one. 
it was just there at Walmart. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's 78 on the front of it. I'm like, ungraded. I think it's like a 20 or $30 book. So I'm like, I will, I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah. Why, no, no, yeah, no complaint. It looked great, great shape too. So like, just dumb luck. Because 9 eighths and these are like, I think like 200 bucks. It's crazy. So this one I sent in. Can we get it sold in a 9 8? Please, 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 please. Yes! <laughs> Walmart pack for the win! Woo! That's awesome. And crazy at the same time. 9 8 Walmart pack. Oh, here's a phone that I just want to get graded to kind of hold on to, but I shouldn't have paid more because I was just going to hold on to it anyway. This is key. This is kill or be killed, number one. I think we've been talking about this book for like a couple of years now, but like nothing cemented yet. But I'm like, let's just get a grade and see what happens. This is a really hard book. Uh, all black on the front, all black on the back. But this is one I bought the day it came out. Looks like it's in perfect shape. I kept it clean. Did I get rewarded? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> Got any of this? Like I said, man, all black, front and back. So very excited about this last book guys thanks for bearing with me guys i really appreciate it whoo what a journey this was on will it be another 99 let's find out kaiju score but the one in ten ratio variant price for these kind of blew up too with the announcement of the news so this one to finish off the submission 10 oh come on baby 10 oh i'll settle for 98 yeah <laughs> whoo oh man it's a really great cover too. Kaiju score number one, one in ten. That is awesome. That's the entire submission. Guys, thank you so, so much. So for that entire submission, the one we just unboxed on the one I've already seen, we got three nine sixes. Two of them were unpreventable. I think one of them I probably could have prevented. And then we got a 9.9, so it kind of balances out for me. Uh, but guys, that's the whole video. Thank you so much for sticking through to all the way to the end. And if you did, you rock. I appreciate you. Uh, like I said, guys, hopefully I'll see you at the next video. And that's it for now, guys. Skeff, out.